Hello? Okay. Hello? <clears throat> hey, it's me. A couple months ago, I did a video like this. It was kind of just like a one and done kind of thing, but apparently not because I want to do it again. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is taking my very old childhood artwork or teenage hood and fixing it. I am going to just redo it in my current skill set, even though I'm not like the best at drawing still. Last time I had a lot of fun with this and I don't know, I think you guys liked it. Some of you did. Plus I found some drawings that I'm really excited to redo. Oh, they're so good. I can't wait to show you them. So let's just get into it. All right, so here is the pile of artwork. I believe most of these are from around 2006 which would make me about 12 years old when I drew them. So yes, I am 26 now. I have fully matured. And oh boy, isn't this a great place to start? No. This would be an octopus with scraggly legs who is brushing his very small tuft of hair and he doesn't look too happy about it. Next, we have another annoyed animal who says, oh please. She seems to be very unimpressed by this birthday cake. I have this happy, 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 happy cupcake. The unevenly chopped line paper really screams quality. It's a style, it's a look. Then we've got this little girl riding a pony also saying oh please the heck what was my deal with making animals say oh please what i don't get it <laughs> Then there's this one. It looks like some sort of awkward spin-off of Mr. Peanut. It hasn't been colored. I still recognize what that is in the background. <laughs> this is a burglar breaking through a window. Um. Why? What? Why? Why? I don't know. Now this one, it's a little boy wearing a hat with balloons attached to it. We've got this very stiff looking skateboarder kid. The outline around his eyes is a little on the thick side. You could tone down the eyeliner just a little bit. Oh, and can't forget about this random floating ice cream cone up here. That's important. Who should we pick first? It's the balloon boy. Let's go. Obvious statement. This is not good. But there is something about it that I kind of like. Maybe it's the balloon hat or maybe something about that face. But there is plenty to be improved upon. Those brick feet, the wiggly arms, those shriveled little fingers. Oh gosh. Good call hiding the other hand. We really didn't need to see two of those. And wait, what is that I see? Is that an attempt at shading? Oh, you go girlfriend. So I'm getting out my current sketchbook, flipping to the first blank page of that. Okay, let's start the drawing. Now I I am gonna change his pose slightly to use the space of the page a little bit better. So I'm having him sit down. That way we have plenty of room to show his balloon hat. You may think looking at the line paper and the use of thick pencils and ballpoint pens that these were my kind of throwaway drawings that I didn't care about. But no, 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 no. These were pretty much the cream of the crop, okay? These were my favorite pieces. This was me trying. This may be worse art skills than the average 12 year old. I don't know. But then again, age really doesn't have much to do with how much skill you have. I just didn't really care all that much about how skilled I was. I just did a few little drawings every once in a while just for fun. Now that original face has a big open mouth smile, which have been tricky for me to draw in the past, but push yourself. I'm gonna try to draw the open mouth smile. I'm just really hoping that it doesn't look like a hideous monster. I'm also going to change the style of the hat he's wearing. I'm gonna give him a little straw farmer's hat, which I think makes more sense with the overalls. Speaking of overalls, I have been noticing that a lot of people are wearing overalls again. And so I was thinking, you know, I wanna try. So I ordered a pair, I tried them on, and I wanted to throw up. I think I discovered I am not the type of person that can pull off overalls. Anyway, this is the point where 12 year old me said, that's done, I'm finished. But of course, I'm not gonna do that now. What the heck? So here I go with the outlining. I don't really know what the story is, why this kid has balloons attached to his hat. I would say that maybe I was inspired by the movie Up, but this was drawn before that movie came out, so it wasn't that. I guess this was just kind of a random idea out of the blue, out of the balloon. <laughs> no. Which is probably the case for most of these drawings. I am gonna create a little setting for him as well. I had the habit of just making drawings kind of floating
floating in the abyss of line paper, but obviously doing some sort of background adds a whole lot. Okay, and now I'm ready to use my extremely cheap and very unprofessional watercolors. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I'll add my slightly more acceptable watercolor set in there as well. Is that okay? You must have noticed that none of my old drawings that I showed you today had any color to them at all. Because I really liked these drawings in particular, I didn't want to ruin them with color. You heard me correctly, ruin them with color. Clearly, I wasn't that confident with my coloring skills, and I had had a couple experiences where I colored in a drawing that I liked, and somehow it became worse. So I would just sometimes leave leave drawings that I liked, which is so weird to me now because coloring is the best part. Why even do a drawing if you're not gonna color it? I went for blue, red, purple, and yellow for his outfit, and then I used the balloons to kind of repeat those colors. He is a very conscientious young man because he clearly took the time to match his balloons to his outfit, and not everyone does that. I also thought it would be kind of cool to drag those colors lightly through the sky as well to create a whole scene where all the colors are tied together. It's all very realistic and matchy matchy. Usually people say that is a negative thing, but I actually kind of like it. Now I'm bringing in my colored pencils, which always look very ugly from this angle. And I'm going to use these to bring in the shadows and details since I'm not skilled enough with watercolor. I always need my pencils to save me. I'm coloring in his mouth, which is scary. Scary because I don't want it to look scary. Please don't look scary. You know what? It's okay. I'm not too scared. I'm fine. It's kind of cute. I like it. And this is the fun part. This is the part where I just feel on top of the world. I really like the detail work and the finishing touches and watching everything really come together at the end. You know, unless it's not going well, then the end is just kind of depressing and sad. But I'd say that this is going decently. You know, I couldn't have expected much more from my current skill level. I'm not super proud of the hands and the feet. I feel like I could have put a little bit more time into those and made them a little better, but I've done what I've done. I did enjoy the balloons and trying to make them look transparent. That was very entertaining for me. And here is the final result. You barely even notice the old drawing. It just kind of like fades away. From my artwork of 2007 to the current version, I think is definitely an improvement, even though, yeah, it's still not perfect. I am always hesitant to talk about how much I love my drawings. I know they're not the best. They don't have to be the best for me to love them. I love them. And it made me really happy to draw it. I had fun. Okay. Mm. Let's take a break from that because this video is sponsored by Honey. If by some miracle, more like tragedy, you don't know what Honey is, Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them while checking out during your online shopping. It's basically like a very helpful friend that pops up and is just like, hey, hey, hey buddy, why, why are you gonna spend that much? I've got a coupon for you right here. It's very touching. So. If you would like to be touched, not physically, I mean in your heart. <laughs> you can get Honey on your computer for free in just two easy clicks. So while you're checking out on one of the 30,000 supported sites, all you have to do is click apply coupons, wait a few seconds while Honey searches for the coupons, and if Honey does find a working code, you sit back and watch the price go down. It has saved me so much on my endless stream of paint purchases. There's no catch, Honey is completely free, works on any browser, and should be on your computer Get Honey for free by going to joinhoney.com slash Mariah. That's joinhoney.com slash Mariah. So they know that I sent you. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. So let's go on to the next drawing. And this time I'm going to select the pig. Here we go. Now I'm not sure if my young brain fully understood that I had just ripped off Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Looking at it now, I cannot help but notice the similarities. Oh, his face. His face is <laughs> not the best. What I mean is it's ugly. The background is clearly intended to be a rainbow. Of course, without color, it's just poorly drawn curved lines. But don't worry, we will fix that. I got this one. For this one, I'm bringing in my iPad because I thought it might be fun to do one of these drawings digitally since I've been into that recently. If you're not a fan of the digital art thing, just don't, just, okay, 
just chill. I'll do the last one back to traditional, but I just wanted to do one like this. It's fun. You're having fun right now. Now this one I am changing a lot. The only thing I'm really keeping is that it's a pig and that there's, of course, a rainbow in the background. I made the pig sit. I guess that's what I do in this video. I just take my old standing characters and make them sit down. And this is also a young pig. It's more of a piglet. And oh yeah, she also has butterfly wings. I don't know. Since my original pig was just dripping with accessories, I'm gonna give her some little accessories of her own. I have to say, I am very new to digital drawing. I am kind of dragging you guys along with me as I learn this. But here's the outline. It's kind of cute. Now with the coloring phase of digital art, I feel like there's always this really scary place where it looks like it's straight out of Microsoft Paint. It's just so cheesy and tacky looking. Oh, it's bad. But as I continue to add shading, it does seem to improve it and get a little bit better. Oh, OB's here. I want you to stop. Stop. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this and what my style is with this whole digital thing, so bear with me, or pig with me. Is that a joke? I am not a huge fan of how I drew the snout. For me, that is the worst part of the drawing, and unfortunately, I never really did anything to fix it. Also, now that I'm looking at it, the eyes are weird too. You know, it's just the whole face region. I'm just, I'm not really feeling it. If I ever get the motivation to, I'll probably go back and rework the face one of these days. At this point, I was more interested in drawing in the rainbow in the background because that was clearly higher priority in my mind at the time. I was really looking forward to adding that in so that I could make the wings transparent so that you could see the rainbow through the wings. I don't know why, but I was like obsessed with that idea and that's what I was focusing on this whole time. And then at this point, I did notice the face. It's a little wrong. Clearly, a giant rainbow across the forehead will fix everything. Ah, uh, what? You know how sometimes when you've been looking at something for a long time, you kind of become blind to what it actually looks like? Yeah, I think that's what was happening here. After taking a step back and looking at it now, I feel like it's glaringly obvious, like I could go in there and easily fix it. Anyway, finishing that up, here is the final drawing. This is an improvement. I think just about anything would be. There are parts of it that I really like, parts of it that I think need work. I like that I took it from the awkward Mr. Peanut wannabe to more of my current cutesy colorful style. I liked it much more in the moment than I do now, but it's okay. It's not terrible. So for the very last one, I'm going to choose the moody cat. This kind of looks like something I would do now. I feel like this was the OG Shelly that we didn't even know existed. It's obviously not a fantastic drawing or anything, but it's got character. Although it is weird that I drew the tail the exact same way that I drew the tentacle on the octopus. Either the octopus has eight tails or the cat has a single tentacle. Your choice. So let's get back to the good old sketchbook to the next blank page. This one is interesting because the original drawing is so small and I'm drawing it so much bigger in the new version. And since I had so much more space to work with, I decided, you know, let's add a couple things to it. I added a birthday hat that someone clearly tied crookedly around her head, adding to the irritation and I also added quite a few details to the cake to make it a little bit more interesting. Once I was finished with the sketch, I went back and lightened up all of my pencil lines and I'm going to try a new art supply today. Woo! The box says expert, so that must mean they're good, right? I bought these watercolor pencils on a whim. It was a Black Friday sale. Since I've been really into using the combination of watercolor and colored pencils for my drawings anyway, this is perfect. I'm pretty much using these as normal colored pencils, except I'm leaving a lot of really light areas and not too focused on making everything super evenly colored. I did notice this pencil in particular kept leaving these ugly black streaks. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason these were so highly discounted. That's fine. We're going to work with it and continue on anyway. I have very minimal experience with watercolor pencils. I believe I used them once like five years ago, maybe twice, but by no 
means an expert. I guess I shouldn't be using these, huh? But the concept I think is pretty simple. You just use them like regular pencils and then you can go over them with water and then the pigment kind of melts and kind of gives you a watercolor effect. I'm not doing any outlining with this drawing. So the shading is quite important because I still want nice clean edges. I like the look of that. So I took a lot of time working on that and making sure that the edges were nice and neat. I went brown for the cat's fur and I was just kind of like willy nilly coloring it in, you know, because I was like, when I add the water, it's just gonna like blend it out. It's just gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be like so perfect. Yeah, well that was a big fat assumption. This is where things got real annoying. This pencil, this freaking pencil. Oh, it makes me angry just looking at it. The lead was just crumbling like crazy. I'd sharpen it, try to use it, and it crumbles. <laughs> sharpen it again, try again, crumble. <laughs> sharpen again, crumble. <laughs> Before you blame my pencil sharpener, no, it is an impossibility that my $3 pencil sharpener was the problem here. <laughs> Oh man. Perfect, wonderful. Eventually, I sharpened the pencil far enough down where I got through the crumble zone and it started working somewhat. But yeah, that wasn't the last time that this happened. These pencils did have that issue over and over and over the whole time. Now that I've got a layer of pencil down over the entire drawing, it's time for the water. So we just dip and then blip, blip. Bloop, dip, bloop. Activate that pencil and turn it into watercolor. Now this did work. It didn't work exactly the way I thought it would. No. It was quite uh, splotchy in many areas and more difficult to control than I expected. At times it felt completely out of control, but when I'm trying something new, I never know how much to blame myself versus the product because clearly I'm inexperienced with this. So it could be me or it could be the product that's the problem. Me or the product. Me or the product. Me or the product. Me or the product. I don't know. There remains a mystery. I know that's very helpful for you. I never claimed this would be a tutorial, okay? I'm just doing stuff and you're just here to watch. I am not an educator. So now I'm gonna go over that with regular colored pencils, which makes me wonder, would it have been faster to just use regular watercolor and then pencils over top like I've been doing? Because I ended up having to color the whole drawing, then paint it with the water, and then color it again. Finally, with this last layer of colored pencil, my drawing is so starting to look a little closer to what I was hoping for. I'm adding the juicy white highlights that make all the little shinies pop. Then just finishing up with some last details, I decided to add funfetti to the cake and some sprinkles. Ooh, sprinkles. <laughs> The last touch, of course we have to add the one and only thing that this cat has to say, and apparently this pony too. Add my signature and the date. So yes, bye bye. I was trying to dry it, not waving at it, but kind of looks like I'm waving. Here we have it, the original and the new and improved version, hopefully. I did have quite a few mishaps along the way, but ultimately I am actually really satisfied with this drawing. I, I think it emphasizes the attitude, although she does look a little bit more sad in the new version in her eyes. There's a hint of melancholy, <laughs> but I think with the birthday hat and the giant bow and it's like crooked, I think it looks even more like somebody has tried to force this birthday celebration on her and she's just not having it. It's weird because I didn't enjoy this drawing all that much with all the little annoying things that I had to deal with, but I really like the end so it makes up for it. The digital drawing I had a ton of fun with, but the end I'm not so happy with, so <laughs> I guess they balance each other out. Out. So that's all I have time for this week. I hope you enjoyed watching me redo some of my old drawings. This was overall really fun to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!